Blimey! Yeah, we're picking right back up, just like I said, so we're starting another episode. Uh, we just got done through the first trial. We looked into more of Professor Rackham, that's him right there, uh, his memories. Now we're heading back to the map chamber. Speak to Fig and Professor Rackham. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir. And this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor. Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringotts with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You will need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter, of course. We need to further the plot. Hold on. Now then. Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood. Do you think that there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. Well, I already now, thought about that. Tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest. I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. That's a Keeper. Oh, we're in the fall, baby. Halloween. I'm going to go as a wizard for Halloween. <laughs> How would you like to learn the knockback jinx flippendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. So we got more assignments for him, Professor Garl. I should Garlic. ask at the Three Broomsticks about the god... I've got spectacular news. The broom upgrade's ready. Ha! Stop by the shop when you can. I hope you will come and see me about a pressing and highly confidential matter. Who the fuck are you? earliest convenience. I believe that we may be able to help each other. Who's Gladwood Moon? Have I met him? God, we... Okay, well, we just got a bunch of shit right off the bat there. Alright, let's go. Please sit. 
see me after class once you have completed the tasks I've set for you. I would like to teach you the sendo, useful for pulling objects to the ground. I don't think I've met Professor Onanda yet either. I know I have a few of these, so put those in. That's it. I'm making good progress with those tokens. Yeah, I just thought about it as those. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Okay. Maybe it's an invisibility potion. I don't know. Um, have I gotten all the missions I'm going to get? Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, we got Beast Class. Hogwarts Caretaker. Okay. Grow and harvest Fluxweed. Acquire all three combat plants. Collect troll bogies. <laughs> Purchase a broom enhancement from Alby Weeks. Alright, well actually the first thing I'm going to do is go to the room of requirement. Because I am pretty sure I got a bunch of gear that I need to uh, open up or like figure out what it is or whatever. Alright, appreciate it. Um, okay, that's up 35, that's up 41. does look like I need to probably sell some gear again. So we're going to go to Hogsmeade, buy the broom upgrade, and just clear that right out of there. And then while we're there, we might as well do the three broomsticks. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. What was I doing? Sporting goods, so... So, waypoint. And it looks like there might be another side mission I can pick up over here, too. Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. That's great. Thanks for stopping by. I, just, I must tell you, Arthur Vogsmead's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. 
You want to give me some of my money, Ben? Ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? What more can you tell me about the next course? It's just a jaunt from here, south of Oxmead. Beautiful mountain views. The course was designed to test flyer stamina. Some of your classmates mentioned they were headed there, eager to see what Imelda has in store. A bit surprising, considering many of them expressed reticence at the idea of racing against through us all. I hope that won't deter you, and you'll give the course a go. At least think on it. At least think on it. Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Report back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. Off to the races. Okay, and then is there anything else? So that's Beast Class. Talk to Glad the Moon, who's out there. I can talk to Serona here. Grow and harvest fluxweed. Off to the races then. Oh, I should have. Um, go buy fluxweed seeds from this dude. Ah. Go buy fluxweed for, uh, seeds from him, and then I don't. Did you see that? I couldn't run up the stairs. And we're gonna go talk to Serona. Things. Please take your time looking about. Now you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. I'll do that. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Nice to see you. Hello. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest told horrible stories about it and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since it's silly but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest you couldn't possibly find out could you you want me to follow the butterflies I do yes if you wouldn't mind what were the horrible stories you were told about the forbidden forest oh Goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at 11 years old. It sticks with you. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. You can usually catch me at this bar. <laughs> Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck. Thank you. Serona? Uh, Serona. Hello, uh, I want to thank you again for your help one. with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. My, my Serona, Ser please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. He's a friend. 
It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gok, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. I, I got you. Thanks, fam. The skirt. We're going to the hog's head. Hello. Good to see you outside the castle. You too, Amit. And don't be afraid to play. Oh, oh, right here. Welcome to the Og's Head. Any empty seat is yours. Rebellious. There's gotta be something on here. Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Sorona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. Well, it's that easy, a way apparently. to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. 
Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. All right, well. My first employment was a. I brought Expelliarmus can disarm a dark wizard. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Can't really think of too many like things I would need I'm to ready. get. Good. There's no time to lose. What right. precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Urtgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Some cool kites right there. He said, there's no time to waste. Why are we walking so slow? Resources, real quick. Juno. Juno. Hold on, there's some moon rock over here. I appreciate you waiting. Thank you. Died. Hope you heard that cough. Music's so intense right now. Nothing like making small talk, huh? Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? I was already here. Yeah, because I had already... What was I doing here? <laughs> I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? Don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors, known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and 
most effectively fire. It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. What about this helmet makes it so special? The helmet of Urtgot is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else. A symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I appreciate that. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please, be careful. Spooky! Spooky! I thought I'd have to light that myself. Let's just say I want the... It's sealed. Moths. Curious. Uh, man, is it this one? Yeah. Lumos. Bed. Bum, bum, bum. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Lumos. Lumos. Repair. Oh, whoops. That's not what I meant to do. I wanted to collect. <laughs> Lumos. There we go. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Yeah, you think so? Oh shit. Oh shit. Makes him vulnerable to other attacks. Oh man. Launch an enemy into a destructible object with the force here. Incendium. Let's 
trying to line it up and There we go. What the fuck? Oh. We'll just do that. <laughs> <laughs> I missed with the incendio. Um, uh, collecting some stuff. Stench of the dead. How is that an ingredient? What? I had a, I had a feeling. Revelio. My gear slots are full. Didn't I take care of this already? Didn't I? Didn't I take care of that? Or did I just look and I never sold? God damn it! Uh, all right. Well, destroy that. Destroy that. Destroy that. Destroy that. I, I don't know how much more gear I'm gonna run into, but we'll find out, I guess. We love gear slots. It's just such a great, like, mechanic in games. It's fucking awesome. What the hell is that? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. power it somehow it looks like it could be rotated Lumos. Wait, I thought there was two in this. Oh, there we go. Lumos. Incendio. What the fuck is that? There's a lot of just confusion happening right now. I, uh... 
Revelio. I mean, as far as I know, that's... I mean, it, look, it looks like that's it. I, I don't know. Well, we're gonna call it it, because when you use Revelio, it's just all bones and shit. I don't see any chests. Yeah, I think that's it. Did I learn Wingardium Leviosa already? I don't think I did. Maybe I did. Maybe I just don't remember. <laughs> What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. side. Oh wait, did that work? I mean, I feel like I hit it with like eight spells. I didn't know. Did I just drop? Uh oh. Saw that. Oh, 66 coins, baby. All right. Do we have. So. We should. Does this do fire damage? So right now, we'll add that in there, too.
Well, that was actually like a fun like fight. That was pretty fun. I'm glad I put Confringo on. I'm just picking up all the dead scent. Don't worry. All right. Lumos. Come here, little mothy. I mean, is that good? Why did he... It's extra dumb is what that is. Extra dumb, dude. An extra. Wait. 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 Where did that moth go? Wait. Lumos. Okay, that's one. Repel. No, nope, that's wrong. Hold on. Lumos. Motherfucker, dude. Yeah, let's shoot it at the fucking ground. This is so... It's like a little hop. Why didn't he just fucking hop up this? Lumos. Dog. You're dead ass right now. This is, this is something else right here. So, where did it go now? Then, that's what I'm confused about. I mean... Lumos. Oh, he went right there, okay. <laughs> that was easy. It's so easy. <laughs> Such a fucking moron, dude. The witch's final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet, a dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Better show this to Lodgok. Revelio. Oh good, gear slots are full. Ha 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 It's fucking dumb, dude. I hate gear slots. Equip that. Um, go over cloaks and robes. I'm sure there's something in here that we don't need. Yeah, destroy that. 
<laughs> All right. There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. He just said some sort of mechanism for this doorway and then it just worked. I don't I don't know. Oh hey. Lord Gok. The sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead ashwinder. Damn! They got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. I mean, I might just let this play out for a few minutes. What level is that for a stroll? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> What was this, this troll? 21? Oh shit. Do I have to complete the... I might have to complete the thing. Unless... Dodge too early. Do I have recover the helmet from the thieves? 
Where's Revelio. Where's the helmet? I I don't know. Revelio. I I don't know. Maybe it's a maybe it's that. That's it. There it is. Oh shit. This is for Rookwood. Oh. Land to the slaughter. Oh. I fucked that bitch up, dude. I should warn I won't make sense. I couldn't hit him because he was like behind the fuck. Sebastian has Telling what lies in wait for me in there. We're already in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. I get those the dumbass glasses off. Even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. I don't know if I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. All right. Nice shot of the castle right there. All right. Well, we had a couple of slip ups there, you know. Uh, I never claimed to be the smartest, but we got here in the end. So uh, I'm going to end this episode right here, and we are going to pick up the next episode. Um, let's see, we have a few more quests. Obviously, we still got to go to Beast Class, talk to Gladwin Moon. Um, I have the bogeys. I need to cast the Pulse on a Levitated Enemy. And there's some other just shit, honestly. Just shit. So uh, we will pick up in the next episode and see what we want to do next. Thanks for watching.